Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here and today we're going to be talking about why people think gachak life is cringe. So, I have been a gacha tuber for a long time. Although I do not think I am a full-on gacha tuber. I just did gacha for, you know, the attention and things. So yeah, we're going to be talking about why people think gacha life is cringe. Whenever people see gacha life, they like want to vomit. They want to, you know just end it already so yeah so first of all what is gacha life gacha life is a game created by lumi it was created like i don't know six years ago five years ago i don't even remember because of gacha life being popular around kids i think people misinterpret that all of the gacha life videos are cringe because of children well 50 percent of that is true and the other 50 percent is also true because most children are cringe we all know children are cringe we used to be cringe back then um if you're an adult or slightly more mature person watching this video you know you've been cringe on your life once so yeah so first why am i on youtube why are we on youtube today trying to talk about this so mostly i know gotcha life from youtube because youtube is where i've been doing it so yeah if we search the word gacha in here we will know everything because this is on incognito meaning all of the search histories has been reset everything's reset to zero therefore this would be the first ever search that would happen if you're a new user on the social media so if you search gacha this is the first search history that you're going to see Although this is not search history, this is a search suggestions. Because if this was search history, it would link to a different icon. It would not be a magnifying glass, it would be something else. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why Gacha Life is cringe. If you look at all of this, you will think that what is going on in this community? Like, do you even think that this is what people would want to watch? Although, um, surfing around earlier, I saw that this is what people want. So if we go through here in the second tab, I searched Gotcha Life and this is the first search. It's the first search output that we saw. So yeah, obviously you have this over-dramatized villain with the dark clothing, with the devil horns, everything. I mean, this is just a stereotypical gacha video. There's always gonna be like that. So yeah, there's going to also going to be one of these. Now, I don't hate animated gacha videos. They they take more effort than more than other of these gacha tubers we're, which we're going to be talking about later. So yeah, um, the one thing I don't like about gacha communities is that they do this. I mean, they use tiktok compilations they content farm other people's work into putting it their own even though they're probably not from the gacha community so if we look at this person's channel there is nothing related to gacha in his like profiles it's like he made he made this channel just to make um he only started when four weeks ago he started four weeks ago to you know content farm I believe this is one of the content farms in Gacha. So, if you don't know what a content farm is, it's basically uploading other people's content and putting it in a compilation and putting it as your own, and you earn money from it. I don't like that, but let's not um, let's not hate on this guy. He just needs the dough. He need, just needs the bread. Everybody needs the bread. I need the bread because I lost the bread. Oh, oh yeah. This is what. You see when you search Gacha Club, Gacha Life, Gacha Verse, Gacha Studio, whatever Gacha game it is. Recently, they came up with Gacha Life 2, so I'm not really going to be following up on that. I kind of gave up on that, so yeah. See this? There's going to be like OGs that you can see because, you know, Gacha is pretty much a spectrum now. It can be whenever, whatever. Just like the, um, I'm not going to mention it, so yeah um if we actually show this video from one of my favorite text-to-speech um content creators which is wise fox i do love his videos um 
but I don't really tune in that much to the gacha community. He is basically my news reporter. So everything he uploads is like the news that I get. So he talks about Bro why gacha, gacha is literally cringe. Sometimes. No, as a gacha tuber who is doing gacha for five years, I cannot accept this. Well, we all know back in 2018. This was also my reaction when I saw uh, gacha life being, you know, sexualized back then. But I'm pretty sure it's being sexualized still now. So Looney can't really get a break with these gacha tubers who are trying their best to ruin the reputation of the gacha community, which they never had a reputation. Their only reputation is being cringe. That's it. 19. Gotcha was cringy, but now we have evolved and we are not that cringy anymore. Gotcha is now creative and good. So today we will I mean it's true, Gotcha is more on creative now because of Gotcha Life 2. You can create anything within the the app itself. So yeah. That's the only good thing that's come out since, you know, Looney taking hiatus for a long time. So yeah. We'll be going on an investigation. What makes Gotcha so cringy? Why can't people normalize Gotcha? Is it actually true that Gotcha is still cringy? Or is it the society? Let's find out why. Let's Bro tried to blame the society. Actually search Gotcha to find out what's going on. Wait before that. Let's make this into a challenge. Alright. Search Gotcha and find something cringy. I will become bald. Alright, if you find something in this Gotcha video that is cringe, I don't know what to do. You guys can leave a comment, I guess. Okay, now. Okay, so I tried to search on Google, but I'm on Opera GX, which also has a Google search engine. So if we try to search for ourselves, what could Gacha be? So yeah, let's go search for Gacha. I think he only searched for Gacha, right? Yeah, only search for Gacha. Let's copy his format with capital G. So let's search for that. Obviously, you're going to see the app first. But let's see what he does. Okay, he went to the Google Images. Okay. Google Images. I don't... Oh, I see what he saw. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, after searching it now, um, it makes sense. Oh, I mean one of his videos is still on here. So that's kind of crazy. So yeah. Let's remove that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that as well. Like, bro, what, what the heck are these images, bro? It take me seconds to find something weird. Bro became bald. This basics. I guess Google is just bad. Let's search Gotcha on YouTube. Pretty. Oh sure. no! Biggest mistake of his life. Just not cringy here. I mean, just the Google suggestions, bro, is enough to ruin the entire Gotcha, gotcha community, bro. That's the saddest thing you can see as a gacha tuber. However, we are not giving up. We will take out every cringy we see. Oh my god. We're going to be throwing holy water. Everybody, if you're watching this video, if you want the gacha community that is very cringy to be abolished, just leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. So yeah. Let's move on. I don't think it really makes any points at this uh, moment. So yeah. Uh, it's kind of right about this one though <laughs> I don't know where he got this image from but there's better images than this wise fox do better no, I'm just kidding okay so I tried to search a gacha life on reddit since reddit is also a big place I don't want to go to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok because that's just about fueling up more and more about why a gacha community is yet oh so yeah let's go to gacha life or about that glitch my pc is old older than most of my viewers probably so when you search gacha life you also get to see this which i'm gonna censor some of it because this is really bad so i really feel bad for looney who is the creator of gacha life um Looney, if you want to talk about it, um, DM me on Discord. I am currently trying to add you as a friend. My name is Ryandre and we can talk about it on a video or something. So yeah. Um, there's this as well. Gotcha life. Ain't no way I'm gonna let 
people see this. I'm gonna censor the word that I said and I'm also going to censor this text. But I'm going to give a clue obviously to what it is so yeah, you'll know what it is. So when you search Gacha Life on the Reddit, this is the first thing you see. Gacha Life Scringe, Gacha Life Shits that I'm not gonna say, and the official Gacha Club which has the Pride Month even though it's July the 2nd. So yeah. Next is when I tried to search Gacha Life Cringe, the most popular subreddit of all time. Really, the Gacha, it has 300,000 members. I used to be a member in this, but uh, I figured it was not worth it to add it to my feed. So, yeah. Also, ignore this. I'm broke, so <laughs> yeah. Ignore that. So, yeah. This is the uh, place where you can see all the cringe, all of the things things that you don't want to see just scrolling down makes it feel worse so yeah now that is all what i think gacha life or gacha community cringe is but there is one thing that i really despise the most in the gacha club or gacha whatever community so if you search gacha like gacha react this is one of the worst things that i've ever seen literally the worst content ever worst content reactions doesn't really matter it gets lots of views that's the only thing i'm proud of them i guess that people actually watch this shit so yeah if you look at this it's more on bringing anime and gacha life together which is kind of kind of all right since you know uh looney tried to do this before i guess when he oh no what the heck is this i ain't searching about this i'm searching for channels bro where are the channels oh where is looney bro where did looney go did looney delete his channel or something oh yeah this one why does his name not pop off though oh remove that yeah he did this like five years ago when he combined anime and gacha which is the most amazing thing he's the creator of gacha life as you can see in his description um i kind of wish he kind of didn't private some of the videos that he made you know one of where he speaks where he introduces gacha gacha life or gacha verse let me search in my channel i tried to i tried to um in my old video i have his voice recorded thank god he didn't copyright me for that he's here in the everybody joins the battle and if we look for it in here um where is it by the way, all of the people in this video are my favorite gacha tubers, although most of them are no longer in with us, so yeah. But, except for the one in the, the hater, yes, I don't like that. I just found her on a random hate, um, so yeah. So let's look for Looney over here, oh yeah, this Looney. Yeah. Alright, this is his voice. I think he also streams on twitch and he plays like beat saber or something but i don't hear him speak that much anymore so this is like one of the voices that you're gonna hear from him yes indeed i am a girl <laughs> which is kind of like the worst thing that i could have showed but yeah that's looney's voice by the way i haven't really you know done all of the research so yeah um i don't think i can talk about anything anymore i've searched everything i mean there's gotcha heat everybody knows that's like the bane of all cringe so anything that is gotcha related nowadays is cringe unless you're a good youtuber that is like you know rosy closy siege yt uh, wise fox and other kinds of people that i haven't watched I don't watch gacha tubers i just know who i know okay i don't know them in real life but i know them in youtube oh so yeah 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you are one of the Gacha community members or any people related to the Gacha community, talk about this in the comment section and I will reply my best. I will reply whether it's a hate comment against me or my takes or any kind of things that are positive or negative, I will try to reply if I have time. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.